won't get away with this. I'm Dung Beetle Man. <laughs> Children young and old around the world live for my many adventures. They'll come looking for me, and when they do, oh boy, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Think. I've got to think. <laughs> Which of my many nemeses could be behind this most dastardly scheme? Dastardly? Is that you, dastardly bastardly, my original foe? Or how about Dr. Eel, with your pulsating electricity and vast consumption of catfish? <laughs> no, huh? <laughs> Curses! Why must I have such an extensive rogues gallery? Um, excuse me, I was supposed to have a ball of what's it? I know that perfume. Looking for this. Amphibia! This isn't your usual setup. Or is the swamp, the mosquitoes, the bubbling pit of murky death? I wanted to see the look on your face. Have I surprised you? Good. Yeah. Years from now, when the other villains ask about your final moments, I hate to lie to them. There's a thin line between good and evil. And you've hopped over that line more times than I can count. But murder, that's not your style. Oh, DB, I'm touched. <laughs> Have you been watching me? I'm flattered. I conduct thorough psychiatric evaluations of all my foes. What's a girl got to do to get some special attention? <laughs> Is that what they say, son? Cry for help. We can get through it together. We're jokes, you and I. <laughs> the man with the power of an atomic dung beetle. And me, the million in a long line of bullfrog criminal masterminds. <laughs> the last of my kind. The last? My father. I am so sorry. <laughs> Eaten by a heron. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I cannot say he was a good man, but I respected him greatly, even if we didn't see eye to eye. And he tried to eat me on multiple occasions. <laughs> He respected you, too, more than any other hero. He had many enemies, as you might expect. I know the feeling. I am going to honor my father. I am going to do the one thing he couldn't do. I am going to kill Dung Beetle Man. Then I will assume his criminal enterprise, and no one will laugh at me ever again. I never laughed at you. No. You always looked upon me with respect. Perhaps I don't have to kill you. Perhaps we could rule together. Would you like that? I have a girlfriend. <laughs> Desiree Fairbanks. How do you know that name? You know, you and I, I think we were meant to have this long, drawn out, complicated, <laughs> eternal attraction to one another. Me tempting you into the darkest muddiest corners of the swamp. You trying to convince me to turn over a new lily pad. But 
But then you had to go and fall for the first groupie who batted her eyes at you. I'm sorry, I didn't know you felt this way. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know what a real woman can do, Gun Beetle Man? This. That's one. A gift from Dr. Eel out of respect my father. I can kill you and bring you back to life again. Okay, Amphibia. You have my attention. At last! <laughs> oh, and all it took was a little shock. Amphibia, please. Oh. oh, you don't know how long I have waited <laughs> to hear those words from you. I've dreamed of them. <laughs> Woken up with them still ringing in my ears. Tasted them upon my tongue. <laughs> to prove 
yourself <coughs> to be worthy. I am already worthy. I always was. You were just too busy to notice. But you're noticing now. <laughs> My father respected you too much to do that to you. Your secret shall remain. Let the others unearth your corpse if they want to know so bad. Six. You were dead a little longer that time. Could you tell? I could tell. <laughs> There's something I've always wondered. Have you ever asked yourself, why a dung beetle? Why not a, something with dignity? Something that strikes fear in the heart of man? No. <laughs> no? No. What good would wondering do? I'm not dung beetle nor man. I'm both. I'm a dung beetle man. <laughs> I should be the best <coughs> dung beetle man I can. Princess of crime. I am the bullfrog queen of crime. Apologies. Are you content being the bullfrog queen of crime? Why should I want to be somebody other than who I am? Well, see, there you go. you think I'd make you happy? Happy? <laughs> Who said anything about happy? It would be a business arrangement, pure and simple. Of all the souls in this universe, you are the only one who has ever come close to being worthy of me. For 
14. Not long now. How's dumb, little man, gonna get out of this one? What's the one thing I haven't foreseen? The missing piece? A hidden escape hatch Dr. Eel had installed because he couldn't bear to let a girl kill you instead of himself. Go ahead. Feel around in your left shackle. <laughs> yep. Found it. Replaced it. Reinforced it. build a life together. <laughs> My life! Don't! Wait. What you're saying makes a lot of sense to me. <laughs> I am being genuine when I say <coughs> You want I legitimately have no other option. You've won. You're saying you would love me? I'm saying there's a lot I admire about you. <laughs> and in time, yes, there would be love. And Desiree? I love her, but I choose you. I see. <laughs> so, loving me is literally your last resort. I was wrong! standing over my bed. Silence. At long last. You already have that, though, don't you? Your father, he's dead.
17. <laughs> that is the first death you truly deserve. I want to watch you realize. Realize what? There is no hope. Not for you. Not for anyone. Your father. What about him? He's who's there every time you kill me. Lies. And more lies! He says, hello, princess. It's okay. Let him live. He's worthy of being your foe. Perhaps the only one who is. No. Daddy, you were my greatest opponent. Well then, he's worthy of taking my place. Are you really my daddy? Come closer. You are. 